Hello, dear pupils, students, and dear listeners. My name is Marina Lepetiva. I'm glad to start our English lesson. And today's topic is adjectives. We're going to talk about comparative and superlative form of adjectives and some other details. Let's start. Actually, uh, when we compare, it means that we uh, talk about two things or two people. So maybe we may mention more, but anyway, we would like to uh, combine, to uh, compare only two things and no more. So uh, you have some examples, for example, she is taller than her husband, so we compare two people, uh, actually it is wife and it is husband. So here you are example of how to compare. Well, if to talk about superlative form, we talk about uh, the most. Uh, the one form which is like separate, which is not similar with others. Actually, you have some example. For example, Paris is the biggest city in France. Actually, you'd like to emphasize one city. No more other city like Paris. So, uh, you'd like to underline this fact. Here you are, superlative form of adjective. Uh, for the first of all, what should you know? Uh, from your school ages, I think that you know, of course, and my dear listeners, that comparative form and superlative form created by uh, some additions, some suffixes and prefixes. For this purpose, in order to understand what should you add, suffix or prefix, you should analyze the word itself. You should understand how many syllables you have in the word. What is syllable? Syllable is a sound bit. So you may see uh, example in my slide. So I wanted to share word hamburger. You may see uh, three syllables, ham, berg, and er, like er. So there are three syllables. How? Uh, to create form depends only on amount of syllables in the word. And uh, now look please. Uh, if you take simple uh, adjective with one syllable or two syllables, you uh, should only, in order to uh, create comparative form, add adding er. So, for example, nice, nicer hot, hotter, cold, colder, and pay attention that in some words, in order to uh, simplify their pronunciation, uh, one letter may be turned into double letter, so like T in the word hotter for the best pronunciation, for the best way and easiest pronunciation. And the next form is superlative form. For this purpose, in uh, simple words, uh, where you may find out only one or two syllables, just add ending E, S, T, and a definite article, the. So it will be like the nicest, the hottest, the coldest. And here you are, uh, how should you act with simple words? Uh, if uh, you would like to uh, talk about some category of words which is finished uh, with some particular letter, for example, Y. Can you see? Ugly or pretty. Uh, you may find some changings. Actually, instead of Y, uh, it is fixed I letter. Can you see? ER we have anyway, it's added and uh, uh, instead of Y, you have I. The same situation with uh, ending EST with superlative ending. Well, here you are about uh, simple words. So what about complicated words? Complicated words, uh, oh, we may bring to this category words with two or sometimes two, of course, not always, uh, and mostly with three syllables and more, if you have. Uh, well, can you see the word more in front of the word? For example, more beautiful, more intelligent. Actually, um, such word like 
beautiful or intelligent they are long anyway so you shouldn't make it any longer it will be really difficult to write to to pronounce and to share uh, words that's why there is a rule to add just one more word uh, and that's all if you would like to create superlative form just please add most form that's all most but don't forget about article there this article is actual even in the complicated words so here you are example of uh, superlative and comparative form with complicated adjectives uh, here you are some examples of uh, this rule chip chipper the cheapest or young younger the youngest or uh, complicated words like uh, crowded more crowded uh, and the most crowded uh, so here your example of a word where we have only two syllables but anyway uh, this word is complicated because position of some letters is really inconvenient in order to prolong this word anymore with some endings and uh, now please see some irregular forms what is a regular form is not standard form we have some exception of the rule that's why you have to uh, change the form absolutely can you see uh, in the same uh, as the same word is changed in these three forms so for example good better and best the best actually so can you see some changings here your example of irregular forms of adjective and at the same time I'd like to mention one detail when you would like to compare two things and you would like to emphasize the similarity of some things you may use not ending or some additional word you may use some model standard model combination for example as plus adjective which you would like to use and again word as so look please at some example Mike is intelligent as Nancy. We would like to emphasize their equality. So here you are. That is all for today, my dear pupils. Thank you for your attention and I hope that our lesson was really interesting and useful. See you.